Three quick tips to fly through Melodyne. 1. Right-click menu. Aside from actually correcting vocals, the thing you spend the most time doing in Melodyne is switching between tools. As a result, the time it takes to move up to the top menu each time adds up really quickly. Instead, right-click to bring up the menu wherever the mouse cursor already is. This small habit, more than any other, will astronomically speed up your workflow in Melodyne. Two, U for undo. Learning yet another keyboard shortcut for yet another tool can all just get a bit out of hand sometimes. So for Melodyne, just set up one single but powerful shortcut. Go to Settings, Preferences, and bring up shortcuts in the drop down menu. Go down to the Restore Original banner and set the U key as a shortcut to undo all changes. As you go through fixing vocals, and you stumble across a section where you completely balls up, just select the area and hit U. All the edits you made in that section will be completely restored, and you're free to start over. 3. Second Display Window Melodyne, along with other plugins, use something called ARA to integrate with some DAWs, which add some really useful features. In the case of Melodyne, one of those features is the ability to control the playhead directly within the plugin. If you're using a DAW that doesn't support ARA, such as Ableton Live, having to dance around the Melodyne plugin window to move the playhead around can be a bit frustrating. If you have a second display, try using Melodyne in that window instead. It'll make things a whole lot easier. Last time I released a video to help work around a missing feature in Ableton, comping, it was added to the very next update. So fingers crossed, maybe now the same thing will happen with ARA support. Click.